second part of my unit was the sight word eggs. The sight word eggs was originally found on Teacher Pay Teachers and was designed to let two kids play together. One of them would be a caller, the other would be a cook, and then they would both have to write it on a piece of paper as a team, player one, player two. My children didn't necessarily take too fondly to that. They became bored very easily. So it didn't take me long to alter the game and its expectations. We played, instead of with two, we played up to five, but it needed to be at least three. So three to five players. We had a cook, a caller, and a writer. And then if we had up to five players, we had more writers. So in a game, you could have one, two, three writers. And the first person to do anything was the caller. The caller would look at the eggs that are spread on the table and would pinpoint one in their brain and say the word and then spell the word and say it again. So for example, I would look with my brain onto the table and see the word said, S-A-I-D, said. And that was the only thing that I was allowed to say. I am not allowed to point to it as a caller. I am only allowed to tell the cook about it. It is the cook's turn to find the word said on an egg somewhere on the table. Once it is found, the cook will scoop it up, use their hand as a spatula, and flip it over. If the student was having a little bit of difficulty, they were more than welcome to pick it back up when it became time for them to spell. But if they knew it, then I try to keep them to lay it back down. But it's the cook's job to make sure that the writer was able to spell the word correctly. So once the cook scooped it up and flipped it, they would have to say, said, S-A-I-D, and make sure the writer was following right along. Sometimes they would catch each other on their mistakes, like, oop, your, X, your S is backwards, or that's really a B, you need to make it a D. And then other times it would be the teacher's catch, and the students would be just giggly and all that. They did a lot better at this because we would rotate, so once the writer was finishing, finished writing said, cap on the marker, stand up, rotate. And the kids got really used to that, and they liked just that little break portion of like two seconds where they got to stand up and just go.